property is in a pretty rural area, but there are wells for uh, groups of about every 10 properties. And so most of it is just desert area and whatever landscaping people have made. Our well tank is pretty much right there. It's where we decided to put that with the little pump house in front of it. But uh, just a beautiful area. Not a lot of um, things going on all the time here. The well's about two city blocks away comes down a main street and then down our street, uh, both of which are just dirt to uh, valve and meter that's out, uh, out in this corner. You can barely see it. Uh, light green right on the bottom there. Let's see, maybe point that out. And then the water comes along through the piping in the ground and ends up pretty close to where the tank is here and where I put the solar panels and then heads to our house. got a good portion of it so far that's out and as I rake it out it makes a big pile and then I spread the pile out a little bit keep the dust down all right so good news bad news good news is that the tank got delivered today and everything looks awesome I put in a couple hundred gallons of water just to make sure that it doesn't blow over somewhere, uh, but will stay on the pad that I created for it. And uh, bad news is that um, didn't think everything through about finding the water line here. I assumed that it was gonna be a straight shot to my house from where the water meter is. And I could just pull off of that for filling this. Uh, I dug this wonderfully massive hole here, and then I, uh, well, with the help of uh, my dog. Then I dug another hole uh, when I started to wonder whether the line does not go straight to the house, and that's out near the meter, so let's check that out. Pilot holes for mounting the pump to this bottom deck of the bottom shelf of the pump house battery storage area. Make these with uh, 5 sixteenths so I can put quarter inch bolts through there to hold it. All right, so with the pump on the bottom shelf and then the vertical output, then um, I still want to use a union to be able to disconnect it if I need to um, take the pump out for some reason. That means I'm going to have the water line that's going to come up through the top shelf here. So I'll cut a chunk of this out and see what I can get figured out for the best way to run the water line here. Alright, so these guys here, got an extension here to be able to get past the controller. Alright. 
So we got the controller mounted. Got some two by fours holding that back panel um, that it's screwed to. And then wiring set up here. I'm gonna run these uh, two cords that are gonna go to the solar panels. I'll mount them back along this back panel and they'll come out the side of the uh, unit here. And then we've got our wiring comes down here. Got both of those guys. Pumps down here. Cord here, I can get that plugged in there in a little bit, should be all out of the way. And then the batteries I need to set up down here on this bottom shelf. Awesome, coming together. All right, I'm working on a pole mount system temporarily, and then I'm going to uh, move this to an installation on top of a steel structure. Um, so right now, rather than go buy a pole, I had some galvanized poles. I just put three of them together and did some pretty uh, low budget welding on them. Used the uh, hose clamps that were sent with the kit to give some extra strength there. Got the top on here since my poles were a little bit wider diameter overall than what's recommended. I did have to use my own bolts to uh, get the top of the mount clamp to go on, but that worked out fine. And even though it's a little bit overall larger diameter that it's set at, the um, top of the pole mount kit does fit because we've got these uh, extra room so you could actually use a, a pole that's probably another half inch uh, diameter greater. So I'm putting the cross beams on and then uh, probably we'll stop with that amount and I'll get it into the ground. I uh, just didn't want to do all of this on a ladder. All right, getting closer. Last night I put up the solar panels and connected them so there wouldn't be any electricity being formed while those were being installed and connected. And <clears throat> still have a couple little water connections that I need to make sure uh, get tightened up. All right, uh, I've turned the pump up to 2.3 uh, bars of water pressure. And I remembered that when I was working with the first inverter, I had turned the pump pressure down, so that's why it was down to just 2.0. But uh, yeah, we definitely have a little bit more pressure here, and I'm sure I can bump that up even further. But right now, it's good to see that we're uh, doing well here, and we've got some flexibility. All right, super happy with our uh, pump system and solar panels from RPS. We've got our backup water system here now on our property. I've got one of the tankless pressure pumps and the four batteries and the controller all nicely um, protected here. And all the valve systems are all set up now. And then we're currently I'm using the four panel system pull mount and things are working great. Sun's gone down, so right now the system's uh, doing a little bit of watering just off of the battery power, but uh, we seem to be doing great with the amount of water usage that we have during the evening. And does just great, so we're super happy.